What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Fortnite LEGO guide. So in this video I'll be talking to you guys about uh, combinations between health charms and stuff. See, I got the ones that I think are actually the most useful here. Um, so just for right now, uh, I'm in an ice cave. This is where I'll be testing some of the, well, all of the stuff. And right now I'm using inner fire charms and as you guys can see I have no fire or no cold damage meter. So it doesn't matter where I go in the snow area, I will not take any cold if you guys are going into the cold area. It's probably one of the best, but stay tuned because there is one that is extremely overpowered. A combination of three of these makes you insanely powerful. But um, yeah, that's what happens if I put on all three of those. If I put on just uh, three of the blue ones, you can see I'm actually still in the cold, or like just barely outside of the cold spot. So I'm not really taking cold damage yet. But yeah, see if I head just slightly more into the cave, it goes to the point where I am. Uh, let me heal up really quick. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be switching them anyway. But, um, real quick, I want to talk to you guys about the Totem of Immortal. You guys need to be very careful with these. So, if you are going to use Totems of the Immortal, only use one at a time. Because right now, you can see right here, I've got three. I'm going to sit here for a second and let my character's health go all the way down. Actually, I'll just do this real quick. There we go. And now watch what happens when my character is supposedly supposed to be dead. There we go, down to the last heart. You can see I've got 21 uh, health right now, or defense. And it died. And now look at that. It got rid of all three of them, and it only worked once. So if you guys are going to use Totem to the Immortal, do not use more than one at a time, because you will just lose all those resources. It just gets rid of them completely. And it is horrible. So uh, if we come over here and look at the charms, you'll notice that there is a rare and an epic version of the Inner Fire charm, but there is not an epic version of the Cool Headed charm. That's because there is a uncommon version, but there's not an uncommon version of the inner fire charm. So the uh, uncommon cool headed charm basically works the same as the inner fire charm, but it's rare. And the rare cool headed charm works the same as the inner fire charm. So if I equip these, it will not get rid of all of my, uh, my cold resistance. Like the, still there. Uh, and it does the same with these, but if I use the blue ones, it completely gets rid of my heat damage. So they're very useful to use. And now, real quick, get rid of these. Get two of these real quick. And so you can see right here, I'm using this. The hardy, or I have the hardy totem which gains you extra health after a few seconds. Or, yeah, after a few seconds of not taking any damage, you'll gain some bonus health. I wouldn't recommend doing this because if you have extra hearts from food, it doesn't actually give you extra hearts at all. So definitely wouldn't recommend just eat food. And as for these, the Charms of Resilience, they're not too bad. But you see how I'm taking cold damage and my defense just keeps going up and then it goes down and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up. Uh, I wouldn't use these at all. In my opinion, they are absolutely horrible. Because at the time you're going to get to your... But if you get hit, you're only going to receive a certain amount of... Um, uh, defense from them. But what if you dodge like one attack, your defense is going to head back down and be the original number it was before. 
so I don't think that they're worth using at all. They're just worthless. And I'm only talking about these ones that give you special effects, because these ones, the health charms, the normal ones, you already know what they do. They're just basic health charms, up your stamina and stuff. Um, this one right here, the good luck charm, which raises your chances of finding rare loot when digging. When it says rare loot when digging, it means seeds. It increases your chance of finding seeds. That's it. I've pulled out like three or four, I think it was three, of the highest level shovel right here. And I used all three of them down to where they were nothing. They broke. And the only thing I ever dug up was seeds. So don't let that fool you. It doesn't give you cool loot or anything. It's just seeds. So that's up to you guys if you want to use it, but I'd rather just use a grain mill. Now then, let's take a look. I passed it because I'm a genius. Uh, looks like we don't really have anything left. I wouldn't really recommend combining different ones together unless you're using Totem of the Immortal. That one is perfectly fine. That one's actually a really good choice to use. But the most overpowered thing that you guys can use is right here. Just use three epic charms of regeneration and you can pretty much out heal any temperature damage or enemy attack damage for quite a while. Like right here, I'm going to boost my health back up to full and I'm going to let it go back down because of the extra food. I should have just brought bread. But I got pizza because, you know, pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a sec. It's so slow. You can see right there, it actually did heal stuff up. But right here, see, I'm in the coldest area possible. And it will do quite a bit of damage. But then the healing kicks in, and it just makes it way slower. So if you use three of these and you don't get hit by anything else, you've got plenty of time to come in here and farm up any resources you need and leave without really taking any damage. So yeah, it's a pretty safe bet to use that. Um, this is by far the best combo to use because it can help you with your defense. It will make it so you don't have to waste food to heal yourself. Um, right here, I'll take a hit from this guy and you guys can see how much damage that does. You see that? It, it barely did anything. Especially because it's healing at the same time that I'm taking damage. So a lot of the time you can heal faster than the amount of damage enemies can do to you, except for the strongest ones. Like, I would not recommend taking on the uh, frost, uh, frost Brute or the Undead Dogs. I would not recommend taking on those and just like tanking the damage, but I will definitely be using these in my playthrough when I go and fight the Frost Brute and Undead Dogs. Because if you take a hit and you just dodge around a bit, your health will reach in a lot faster than they can deal damage. So, yeah, that's all I really have for this video. Nice short little thing, because there's not very many in the game right now. Um, so yeah, always use the highest tier of fire charms or ice charms if you need those, or if you don't have access to the lower, to the higher level um, regeneration charms. Because these uh, the lower level regeneration charms, the rare ones, are still good and they still heal you quite a bit. They just don't heal you as fast. And they're just not really as good. I'm dead. I took a hit from that guy and it killed me. If I was still wearing the purple ones, I wouldn't have even taken a heart of damage. But that took out more than three and killed me. So, yep. That's it for this video. I hope it helps you guys out and now you guys know what you need to uh, spend your resources on and what to completely avoid.
Resilience charm. <clears throat> Avoid it. Don't use it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. That's all I got to say for this video. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost up to 400 subscribers. We're getting there. We're building up the channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon down below so you guys can see any time I post a video and you won't miss out on any of my stuff. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya!